more power for your Ford 7.3s, we're gonna help you read air fuel ratio, and why in the world do we have a patent on something called a power pickle? We'll explain everything in this episode. In this week's R&D update, we take a look at Banks' wideband O2 sensor development. Our electrical engineering department is adding additional circuitry to the design of the upcoming wideband O2 sensor. Some new cars have AFR available via OBD. So how's Banks' system better? OBD broadcasts AFR somewhere between one to five times per second, whereas the new Banks O2 sensor will update at 20 times per second. That means it's perfect for tuners, racers, and everyday consumers. Meanwhile, the CAD department is putting some finishing touches on the case design. This new overmolded shell will ensure that the circuitry and sensor will be shockproof, weather resistant, and corrosion resistant. The sensor will plug directly into the current four channel analog sensor module, which plugs then right into the iDash. What's your air fuel ratio? Are you running rich or lean? Our new forthcoming O2 sensor will tell you stay tuned. In our Pedal Monster story segment, we check in with Rich and his Titan XD. The Nissan Titan is a pretty stout truck and definitely has its fair share of fans. Arriving on the scene first in 2003, the Nissan Titan's first generation ran until 2015. During that time, the only engine available was the 32 valve 5.6 liter endurance V8. When Nissan debuted the second generation in 2016, a diesel option, the 5.0 Cummins, was added to the lineup. Unfortunately, this ran only until the 2019 model year. That being said, there's not many performance parts for the short-lived engine platform. Interesting fact, one out of every Titan sold was a diesel. The diesel Titan owners, like Rich, know the lack of available products all too well. Yeah, that's incredible. Super responsive, fast, way faster. And now for our fan focus, where we visit Mike Nelson and his 1999 Ford Power Stroke. Mike needed help, or at least his truck did. The original owner of the 99 Ford F-350 Power Stroke really needed more power for towing his trailer. But buying a truck just seemed like a dumb idea. After all, his F-250 only had 76,000 miles on it. It's not even broken in yet. So he started looking at upgrades for the truck and found that everything he needed was offered by Banks. If there's anyone who can tell the difference before and after, it's Mike because he's been driving the truck stock since 99. 99. Oh man, let me tell you, there's such a difference, he said. I mean, it's a completely different truck. The horsepower and torque were the main reasons why I wanted the bank system, but I got the speed brake for safety. Now towing is easy and I feel so much more confident going downhill. So is there a new 2021 truck in Mike's future? Hell no, he says. Banks made the truck I love even better. For our time machine segment, we use that crazy apparatus in the back of Ant-Man's van. Well, maybe it was the doctor's. I can't remember who owned it. The van thing. We enter the quantum realm and travel to 2003 where Gail Banks is awarded a US patent for his innovation in exhaust scavenging. He invented a ballistic flow device to overcome the aerodynamic problem that occurs where tubes join within a single collector, creating a dead zone. This dead zone kills exhaust gas velocity. This guy, the Banks Power Pickle, fills that void and utilizes the rotational firing order to maximize exhaust gas extraction. This detail, exclusive to Banks, captures exhaust gas action and turns it into massive torque and moves the peak 800 RPM to match the shift point. Banks integrates tuned length tubes into a design that allows rotational firing of the exhaust, minimizing back pressure and maximizing torque. Think of it this way, the Power Pickle- I'm Pickle Rick! makes the header's collector into like a Gatling gun. Payback time. Directing each exhaust pulse out separately and unobstructed. This invention is particularly beneficial on V10 engines like those used in motorhomes, vans, and trucks. And now for our parts corner. Are we seriously, we're gonna call it parts corner still? It's still just as dumb. Okay, what if I told you that last month, a part that fits a 1999 to 2003 F-250 and F-350 was our third most popular performance part here at Banks. <laughs> I was stunned when I looked at the data. I figured our top 10 parts were all derringers and pedal monsters for new trucks. No, you guys still love you some 7.3s. Part 42210, a Banks Ram Air intake is still a top seller decades later. 
The system outflows the competition and comes complete with its very own battery tray. Available with either a dry or oiled filter, it adds 16 horsepower and 32 pound-feet of torque. So stay glued to our Facebook and Instagram feeds and be sure to subscribe to our Banks Power and Banks Insider YouTube channels to keep up on the very latest Banks news. We're here and we've been pumping out performance for over 60 years. That's six decades. That's like 3,120 weeks. That is crazy.